Uh, there's no better person to talk to than Kevin. That's because right. we're all in theory and we're all here to help, but he tried it. Why did you jump off the Golden Gate Bridge? Larry, I was in the greatest pain I'd ever experienced, and it was mental. How old were you? I was 19, and Larry, I believed beyond a shadow of a doubt that I had not one other course to take but to die by my hands. Dr. Uh, Dr. Thomas Joyner calls it constricted thinking, a tunneled vision where you see only death, and that is the only option. Here's the difference. If I had recognized back then on that bridge that my thoughts did not have to become my actions, I would never have attempted. If I could recognize that just because I think of suicide, it doesn't mean I have to attempt. It means I have to come to someone like Kita and say, I need help did now. Did you live in San Francisco? I did, for 34 years, yeah. You were 19. Yeah. What was specifically was troubling you? I had been two years prior diagnosed with bipolar disorder, type one with psychotic features. I was hearing voices in my head, seeing things that nobody else could see, and they were telling me I had to die. You on Auditory, medication? I was on medication, yes, yeah. All right. did, how'd you get to the bridge? Uh, frankly, I, I, I made my way to the bridge via, via public transportation, and I had spoken with my father that day who tried to keep me with him, tried to keep me safe that day. He didn't know I was suicidal. He just knew I was erratic and I was off. And, and that's no fault of his own. He wasn't taught suicide prevention measures, and that's the deal. We need to teach our parents, teachers, loved ones, coaches, and clergy how to detect suicide and how to prevent it by asking the direct right. question, are you suicidal and do you have a plan? How can I help you? Excellent. What were you thinking right before you jumped? I heard a voice in my head scream, jump now. And I did. Upon the millisecond of free fall, Larry, it was an instant regret for my actions. As, really? I, as I fell, these are the words that rang in my head. What have I just done? I don't want to die. God, please save me. And then I hit the water. And I went down 70 feet. I opened my eyes and I prayed that I would live. I swam 70 feet without the use of my legs to the surface. And I took a gasp of air and I prayed, God, please save me. I don't want to die. And at that moment, Larry, Something began to swim beneath me, and it turned out a sea lion kept me afloat until the Coast Guard boat arrived behind me. A sea lion, a sea lion. saved your life. That's why he's right here. <laughs> this is Herbert. He saved my life. The Coast Guard then pulled me out of the water. We are hospitalized? Oh, God, Larry. I shattered my T12, L1, L2 lower vertebrae into shards. Uh, I missed severing my spinal cord, Larry, that day by two millimeters. How cold was the water? Oh, it was freezing. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to say to people in pain right now, you deserve to be here. You're important and you matter. You matter to me, you matter to us. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.